Good news guys, Canada has just opened a new pilot program for overseas workers. This pilot program is for all international job seekers, foreign migrants who is looking to move and relocate into Canada through a work permit. Now, this program is launched by the province of Nova Scotia. Guys, if you see me smiling, it means I've got something good for you all. It means there's a new and juicy update I cannot wait to share with every one of you. The benefit of this pilot program is that you don't need to be in any express entry profile, no need for provision nominee there's no age limit. I mean, with this particular program into Canada, you are not required to perform any skill credential assessment. Neither do you need any higher level of education. With just a secondary school certificate, you qualify for this program into Canada. Guys, this is such an amazing one today. Before I go any further, let me start by saying that this new opportunity in Canada is a pilot program. What does this mean? It means that this program is not going to last forever. Or rather, this opportunity is not going to last forever. I'm going to be explaining to you guys in a few seconds. Now, starting for an instance, the Canadian government says, okay, they need this amount of workers in their country. Maybe they need 3,000 workers. The target for this year is to bring in 3,000 workers. When they meet that target, they are likely to close down the program. Reason why I would say if you are coming across this video, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you have a book and a pen close to you so you can start jotting down all of the step-by-step -step processes I'm going to be telling you today and showing you all today on how to successfully secure this opportunity and this visa into Canada. I would also say that you should ensure to grab the opportunity immediately you are seeing this video because I'll be leaving available resources on how to kickstart your journey using this program to relocate into Canada. Guys, this is such an amazing one because, like I said, with this program, anybody and everybody can apply, okay? They are not looking for you to have any higher skill or something like that. But if you've got the necessary experience they're looking for in this pilot program, then you qualify for it. Guys, what are you waiting for? Let's dive in already. But before we do, please give this video a very big fat like. And as you do, may God bless you. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, kindly hit that subscribe button. And as you do, may God bless you. Now, the name of this program is called Nova Scotia Critical Construction Worker Pilot Program, PNP. Just as the name implies, it means the Canadian government is currently seeking for a lot of foreigners or foreign workers, job seekers who qualify under the construction department. That is, if you are into construction, you know anyone that is into construction, you have a brother, you have a sister, an uncle, a friend, relation that is into construction, then this video may be the right one for them, where they can get the opportunity now to move into Canada with a free work permit. They're going to be getting an employer who is ready to sponsor you, sponsor your relocation journey. Through this program, you also qualify for the Canadian PR rule. That is, when you come into Canada using this program, in less than a few months, you get your PR rule. Guys, it's so amazing because all you need to do is just go and apply to jobs, okay? You are not required to have any level of point or whatsoever, unlike the provisional mini pilot program where you need to um, build up points before you get selected. But with this one, all you need is to apply for jobs simply going through different websites, different portals, different job platforms to apply for construction jobs. Now, there's a huge shortage in the construction sector in Canada, especially in the Nova Scotia province. Reason why they came up with this idea, say, okay, now, why not bring up this idea? Why not bring us this new initiative where international workers can come in, not only come in to work, but also come in with a family to leave work and settle and thereby get a permanent residency. So they're not looking to only bring you into the country, but they're looking to retain you. Guys, if you haven't liked this video, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please hit the like button as you do. May God bless you as that shows me that I'm doing something good here. And that also make me to come back here to always want to do more and research more on the different pathway abroad. Now, with this pilot program, if you're an overseas worker, you qualify for this. You're going to be getting an employer who has the LMIA to give you a job offer into Canada. If you're inside Canada, you're looking for a sponsorship opportunity as this, or maybe you come into Canada with a visa visa and you're looking to switch into a work permit, then this might be for you. But remember, this is a construction pilot program. That is, you must have the skill of a construction worker before you qualify and start applying for jobs under the sector. Guys, the Nova Scotia province is open to receive you. Their border is widely open. 
Now, and one thing I like about this is that this just came out literally this month. It means there is no competition whatsoever right now as I speak. There's no competition whatsoever. At the end of this video, I'm going to be giving you tips on how to search for this job. I'm going to be showing you websites where you can use or likely find a job under the settle. Guys, then again, I know if you're watching this and maybe you're not a construction worker, then you can share to anybody who you know is under the speed. Now, talking about the requirements of this pathway into Canada, what you need, first of all, is that you must have at least a one-year working experience in the construction job. What does this mean? It means it must not be a voluntary job. It must not be six months. It must not be less than a year, but a full-blown one year of receiving salary or working full-time under this particular sector. I think this is the only requirement they require of you aside your IELTS score, which could be a bank four. Guys, tell me who wouldn't score a bank four? Anybody, everybody, I believe, should be able to score a bank four in IELTS. Otherwise known as the Canadian language benchmark, you can use that or you can also use the French language. At least a BAM4 qualifies you. Now let's go on to the eligibility of this pathway into Canada. Firstly, you must get a job offer from a licensed sponsor in Canada or from an employer who in Canada that is willing to sponsor you, give you a job offer because that's your job offer reference is what you're going to use to take to the Canadian government and send in your application. Guys, I hope you are following me. That is the first step you need to take after successfully gathering your document, which is showing a proof of your one-year working experience and your IELTS, then you need to get an employer who is willing to sponsor you. Otherwise, this pilot program into Canada is through an employment basis, is through a job offer basis. You must secure a job offer before you go in or before your visa could be approved, right? Guys, if you successfully get a job offer, then the next step should be much more easier for you. That is, once you get an employer who is willing to sponsor you, an employer willing to give you a job in the construction department, then you need to send your application to the Nova Scotia province. Okay? Once you send your application to the Nova Scotia province, then all you need to do is to wait to receive an email from them stating if you are nominated or not. If you are nominated, hopefully, then you're going to be given a certification to show that indeed you qualify for this program into Canada. Guys, if you're following me thus far, then you know this is an amazing opportunity. Firstly, the requirements are so low. The requirements are so low, unlike other Canadian pilot programs that requires you to provide a lot of documents, a lot of um, nomination, accession, like a lot of things, like practically too much. But with this one, they are looking for even if you are low skill, like I said, your secondary school certificate qualifies you. Guys, this visa also allows you and permits you to come with your family. Yes, it's amazing because you're going to be getting a PRO. So they know if someone is coming into your country to stay on a permanent basis, they will definitely relocate with the family. So you can come in with your spouse. You can come in with your children. You're dependent put simply. Okay. And the amazing part is that your spouse also get an open work permit where he or she can work in any field of their choice. Your children qualifies for free school as long as they are in the elementary and secondary school department. They qualify for that. That is one thing I love so much about the Canadian pilot program or visas into Canada as most of its visas gives one the opportunity where it leads to PRU. It's so amazing. You can't get that in any country. Okay, I don't want to mention other countries here, but Canada is like one of the fastest, fastest country if you're ever looking for a permanent settlement. Okay, now from this explanation, you can tell that this particular program into Canada is quite easy breezy. I don't want to say overly easy as there's nothing absolutely easy, okay, in life. All I know is that if you're willing to walk towards it, if you are willing to channel a lot of effort into it, then you should get it in no time. Then this takes me to where you can apply for this job. Like I said, all you need is to go to websites to apply. You don't need to be in any express entry pool or profile or whatsoever. Go on various websites, Canadian job websites to apply. One website that actually stands up for me is the Canadian Job Bank, okay? I know a lot of you have come to me and say, Clara, do we really... Get job in the Canadian job bank? Is there really job? Is there genuine job in the Canadian job bank? I would say for a fact, there is. 
This is because the Canadian Job Bank is actually one website that was created by the Canadian government, okay, where people can easily go and see employers who are willing to give them a work or a job offer, okay? Be it you're a resident in Canada already, or be it you're a foreign applicant outside of Canada, you can successfully use the Canadian Job Bank without any hustle. It's easy and straight to use. So guys, I've actually made a video on how to successfully use the Canadian Job Bank, how to know right employer, how to check if an, a job offer is actually genuine. I will be leaving the link to that video in the description box of this so you can go and watch it and use that step to start searching for this job if you are into the construction department now guys this is where i call it a day if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more about relocating to canada please do where to subscribe so that you're not going to miss any of my video whenever i come here live also do not forget to like this video share this video to a family member a friend a brother or sister who is into the construction sector or who has skills or experience in the construction department so they can benefit from this new opportunity. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. For now, goodbye. i see you in my next one. Bye.